Ruiz Mé. A Ruiz Mé. Can you hear me? Are you having difficulty speaking? Can you move your head? Just nod if you can hear me. Look up, please. Very good. How do you feel now? Can you speak? What is your name? When were you born? Can you recall? Good. Now then. Please try to relax. There is plenty of time. I need to tell you something. Please listen and try not to panic. You've been in a coma for quite some time. Yes, yes, I know. You would like to know how long. I'm afraid it's been... Nine years. Damn it! Nosokoma! 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 Nurse! Calm down. Calm down. Try not to panic. Wait a second. Try not to panic. You'll be all right. How do you feel? It's been one week since you came too. Now, let's try getting you out of that bed. Nurse. Don't worry. You've lost some strength, but we've been maintaining your muscle mass through massages. CPM therapy and EMS. Now, I need to explain something to you, but you mustn't be alive. Nine years ago, you were injured in an explosion. Upon examination, 
we discovered 108 foreign bodies embedded within it. In addition to shrapnel, we also found fragments of human bone and human teeth. Most of it was removed, but some of the fragments still remain. They are located near your heart and in your skull. Look at this. The fragments are lodged deep within your cerebral cortex. We couldn't give you an MRI, the metal you see, but even if we were to extract it, you would most likely suffer a brain hemorrhage. Mental and physical impairment are unavoidable. However, your current status is not life-threatening. One more thing. This X-ray is on your upper body. You better look now. Best to understand your situation sooner than later. I know it's difficult, but please look down. It's best to see with your own eyes. Be brave. Just like a Sunday.